Onet has added some new features into the test realm like the new Sticker Seeker, Sticker Seeker Quests and more. The Sticker Seeker is a new tool which is located in the trading hub. It costs 7 million honey, 1 glue, 1 oil, 5 soft waxes, 5 neon berries and 10 micro converters. The tool seems to be an early game item since it doesn't cost a lot. There is a Sticker Seeker quest machine and it has ranks. Onet said that the Sticker Seeker is not an NPC because there are too many NPCs already. So it's similar to last year's Robo Party. But what's different is that you can't just speedrun these quests because every 10 ranks you need to have double the amount of stickers on the sticker stack so rank 10 needs 20 stickers on the sticker stack rank 20 40 stickers the quest rewards won't be very good but you will get some rare stickers and sticker planters onet said that quest 500 gives you a gifted mythic egg but reaching this quest won't be easy since you will need 250 stickers on the sticker stack and so far there are 269 stickers and skins in total that you can donate you will need to collect 92.9 percent of stickers and skins the sticker seeker quests require you to find seeker stickers in field zone Seeker stickers only appear if you have the sticker seeker equipped. Every seeker sticker's location is different for all the players. Onet explains it here. Every player gets a spread ID and it changes every six months. That's why the normal sticker locations around the map are also different for every player. Onet is thinking about adding an ID reroll feature, but the main goal of the spread ID is to encourage trading. In my last video, I explained why this year's Beesmas will be the last one, but Onet thinks that in the future Beesmas will be a recurring event with returning quests but without any new features. Beesmas quests won't be the same every year but will have small reworks. Also Onet leaked part 2 of Beesmas, he said that there will be rebirthing in PvP. Onet explained how rebirthing will work in this message, basically, when you rebirth the bees you had turn into stickers and the stickers you had turn into aged stickers, just like gingerbread bears, you then get a second sticker stack and you play B game from the beginning. And I think we all know how PvP would work, imagine killing a level 20 hive and stealing 5 quadrillion honey as a blue backpacker. That's basically it hopefully you learned something new good.